Hey there, it's Elliot. Today we're diving into a question I know a lot of you have been asking about. Does i2Lab on LockGo really bypass iPhone lock screens? Now, while it might seem tempting to try out software like UnlockGo, I've gotta be honest with you. It's not always the safest or most reliable path. Sure, it's out there, but hear me out. We found something way better. We're talking about a method that's not only free, but also quick, safe, and guaranteed to work for your iPhone, iPad, and even your Apple Watch. It's like finding that secret level in a video game that gets you straight to the boss fight, efficient and super satisfying. So stick around because today we're not just discussing, we're solving this puzzle together. Let's get started. Quick heads up before we continue. I'm here to help those who own their gadgets but forgot their login details. No funny business or illegal stuff here. Let's keep it clean and stick to YouTube's rules. Awesome, let's dive back in. Jumping right into it, let's talk about some of the top services out there for handling that pesky iPhone locked to owner message. We've got a few names that keep popping up in the tech community known for their reliability and ease of use. First up, there's Safe Unlocks. It's pretty popular among users for its straightforward approach. Then there's Locked to Owner, a name you might have heard in online forums. It's gained a bit of a following for its user-friendly interface. But hey, let's not forget about iUnlock app. I've heard some interesting backstories from people who've used it. Like this one time, a friend was stuck with a secondhand iPad that was still linked to the previous owner's account. iUnlock app came to the rescue, making the whole process a breeze. And then there's Unlock Here's AI-powered Unlocking Web app. This one's a bit of a game changer with its AI-driven approach. It's like having a tech genius right in your browser figuring out the best way to unlock your device. Now, while these services are great, remember we're all about exploring all the angles here. So in our next segment, we'll dive into how Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant really steps up the game. Stay tuned for that because it's gonna be an eye-opener on how tech can simplify our lives. It's essential to know that these unlock services usually work best in first world countries. If you're in a spot where you can't access these services or maybe you're just not keen on using them, don't worry, we've got something special for you. Every week, we're offering 250 unlocks to our viewers. Here's how you can be one of the lucky ones. Like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to our channel. Stay in the loop for more tips and tricks. Drop a comment below with your phone's model like iPhone 8 along with your IMEI number in your country. That's it. Once you complete these steps, you're automatically in the running. It's our way of saying thanks for being part of our community. Keep an eye on your comments. You might just be our next lucky winner. To start unlocking your device using unlockhere.com, an AI assistant powered web app, first open your browser on your phone or computer. Head to unlockhere.com. When you're there, you'll meet Nifty, the AI bot. Let Nifty know you need an iCloud unlock by clicking on activation lock. You will then choose your device type, whether it's an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. Now it's time to enter your IMEI or serial number. For iPhones, use the IMI number. Some iPads and Apple Watches will also have an IMI if they come with a SIM card slot or cellular capabilities. Most of them, however, only have a serial number. To find this on your lock device, press the sleep button, press it again, and then tap the I icon at the bottom right corner to see your device info. Then enter that device information here to proceed with the unlocking process. Next, enter your basic information. This is important to link the order to your account and to ensure you can receive your order confirmation. You'll get a confirmation code sent to your email later on. Make sure to agree to the terms confirming that you're not attempting to unlock a stolen device. Before you proceed, don't forget to click I'm not a robot and complete a quick CAPTCHA. Afterward, click start process. And just like that, you're well on your way. You should receive an email with a confirmation code shortly after check your spam or junk folder too, as it sometimes ends up there. Once you've received the code, retrieve it, enter it back on unlock here, and shortly after, complete a step to confirm that you're not a robot. Then simply tap the button to validate the information and the unlocking process will begin smoothly. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions 
and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. If you're dealing with a locked iPhone, there are a couple of ways you can tackle this. First, you can get in touch with Apple support. Here's how it works. You need to have the original invoice of your iPhone. This invoice is super important because it's proof that you're the legit owner of the phone. Once you have it, give Apple support a call or chat with them online. Explain your situation and show them the invoice. They're pretty helpful. And if everything checks out, they can help remove the lock for you. Another method is resetting your Apple ID on Apple's website. This is useful if you've forgotten your login details. Just head over to the Apple ID page and there you'll find the option, forgot Apple ID or password. Click on that and it'll guide you through the steps to reset your ID. You might need to answer some security questions or enter your email to get a reset link. Follow the instructions and once you've reset your ID, you can use it to unlock your iPhone. All right, let's talk about using iCloud Unlock software to solve your lock issue. This software can be pretty handy, but you'll need a Windows computer to use it. That's one thing to keep in mind. It's not for everyone. So here's the deal with this software. You need to find a reliable one to unlock your device. There are loads of options out there, but be careful. Not all of them work as advertised. It's really important to pick the right one. But here's a heads up. While iCloud Unlock software can be great, downloading stuff always comes with risks, like malware. That's why it's often safer to go for an online service instead. Services like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks are solid choices. The best part, you don't need to download anything. You can do everything directly on their website, which is way more convenient and reduces the risk of accidentally getting a virus on your computer. Uh, here's a solid alternative method to remove that iPhone lock to owner message, especially if the previous owner is willing to help out. So if you're in touch with the seller, guide them through these steps. They need to start by going to iCloud.com. Once there, they should log in with their iCloud account details. This is the same account that's currently linked to your iPhone. Next, they'll find an option called Find iPhone. They need to click on that. It's a tool Apple provides to locate and manage Apple devices. In Find iPhone, there's a list of devices linked to their iCloud account. They should find and select your device, the one that's giving the locked to owner message. After selecting your device, they'll see an option to erase they should click on this. This step will reset your device, wiping it clean, which is a crucial part of unlocking it. Finally, to make sure your iPhone is completely free from their iCloud account, they need to click on remove from account. This is the last step that cuts the tie between your iPhone and their iCloud. Following these steps is a great way to get your iPhone back to full functionality if you've got a cooperative seller. Thanks for sticking with us during this tutorial. We trust that it has effectively delivered the answers you were looking for.